A report out today in the New England Journal of Medicine could revolutionize prenatal screening for Down syndrome and other disorders. Dr. John LaPook has been looking into this. When 29-year-old Jennifer Fontaine was pregnant last year, a standard blood screen suggested her baby had a severe genetic defect. It was very devastating to read that the baby not ma might not make it through the birth, the baby might be stillborn, or if she does make it through the birth, she may not live up to her first birthday. But that standard blood screen isn't definitive and has a high rate of false positive results. So Fontaine was given the option of either an amniocentesis, an invasive test that carries a 1 in 600 chance of miscarriage, or a more targeted blood test, which analyzes fetal DNA circulating in the mother's blood. She opted for the blood test. After worrying for more than two weeks, she got good news. There was no defect. It was the best feeling ever to know that everything was fine and that, you know, in a few months we were going to have a perfect baby little girl, so it, we were happy. <laughs> Since 2011, the fetal DNA blood test given to Fontaine has been used to screen high-risk pregnant women for several chromosomal defects. Researchers wanted to find out if this DNA test could be useful for low-risk women as well. They looked at samples from 1,900 women and found, for Down syndrome, the standard screening had a 3.6% false positive rate compared to 0.3% for the fetal DNA screen. That's a tenfold reduction in false positives. Dr. Diana Bianchi of Tufts Medical Center led the study. Far fewer women are made anxious and need to go on for the further counseling, and certainly there's a reduction in the need for an invasive diagnostic procedure. The DNA test costs as much as $1,500. Insurance doesn't typically cover it for low-risk women, but given the potential benefits of avoiding further invasive testing, that might change. Doctor, thanks very much.